Ohioans know how to reach for the stars, literally. There have been more than a handful who have headed into space with careers as astronauts. Let me introduce you to a few who really stand out. No doubt you've heard of Neil Armstrong. He's got that famous quote, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Originally from Wapakoneta, Ohio, Armstrong attended Purdue University where he studied aeronautical engineering before being called to serve in the Korean War. As a pilot for the Navy, he flew 78 missions. If that's no prep to fly into space, I don't know what is. Upon returning and completing his education at Purdue, Armstrong joined the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, which eventually would become NASA. It was here where Armstrong made history flying the Apollo 11 and becoming the first man to walk on the moon in 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Although monumental, Armstrong was not the only Ohio-born astronaut making an impact during this time. John Glenn, born in Cambridge, Ohio, beat him to space. Glenn was the first American to orbit the Earth in 1962. In 1959, Glenn was selected to join the first group of astronauts nicknamed the Mercury 7. I look at it, if I use the talents and capabilities I happen to have been given to the best of my ability, I think there is a power greater than I am that will certainly uh, see that I'm taken care of if I do my part of the bargain. He had already spent plenty of time in the air, having served in both World War II and the Korean War. Glenn made history for America with his orbit mission and continued serving the country as an Ohio Senator for 25 years. However, he didn't stop there. He made history once more in 1998 when he did one more space flight. What was so impressive this go? Well, Glenn was 77 years old at the time making him the oldest person to fly into space. And lift off of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Now, Armstrong and Glenn are probably familiar names, but how about Judy Resnick? Ever heard of her? Resnick was from Akron and was accepted into the astronaut program in 1978, along with five other women. During her time, she became the second female astronaut to travel to space and was well regarded for being a pioneer. Her first flight to space was abroad the Discovery in 1984. She was an expert in operating the shuttle's robotic arm. Unfortunately, Resnick's next mission was aboard the space shuttle Challenger in 1986. The Challenger exploded not long after takeoff, killing her and six other crewmates. At a memorial service for Resnick, John Glenn said, so as we reflect on Judy's life and Challenger's last voyage in the days and weeks ahead, let's never forget the last words that came from that spacecraft. Go at throttle up. Those are far more than a courageous epitaph. They are America's history. They are America's destiny, and they will turn tragedy into triumph once again. Resnick's work and accomplishments helped revolutionize the industry and pave the way forward for women. For example, one of the toughest astronauts out there, Sunita Williams. Williams was born in Euclid, Ohio. She joined NASA as an astronaut in 1998. Already having retired from a career as a Navy captain, she served as a flight engineer during her time as an astronaut. Williams has been commended for endurance as an astronaut and has a record to back it up with two missions under her belt. She has spent time on the International Space Station and set the record for female astronauts with the most spacewalk, totaling more than 50 hours. Despite already accomplishing so much as an astronaut, Williams continues to strive for more as she trains for more space flights and is expected to spend even more time aboard the International Space Station. You know, being in microgravity and flying around in space is priceless, and uh, I mean, I think uh, we're cherishing every moment we have of it. As of 2020, she has her eyes set on being the first female to walk on the moon. So as you can see, Ohio is home to some super accomplished astronauts, and there are plenty more I could talk about. Will you be one of them one day?